Hello friends, this video on linear programming part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear for exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 4. Let's take one more example. Here we have to find the maxima and minima of this guy, 5x plus 10y. The conditions are as follows, x plus 2y is less than 120, x plus y is less than 60, x minus 2y is greater than 0. So, let this guy be let me take this guy as 30, 60, 90, 120, this kind of figure we need actually in this direction. So let's take this x plus 2y is equal to 120, let's find the value of this. You put x equal to 0, you get y is equal to 60. You get x is y is equal to 0, you get x is equal to 120, right? So x is equal to 120, y is equal to 0 is 1 point. And here also similar we have 30, 60, 90, 120. I am taking this scale because the question demands like that. So x is equal to 0, y is equal to 60. So I have these two points, right? So let's join these two points. So if I join these two points, I get this first equation. Now I need to find whether this is on this side or this side. Put 0, 0, this guy. So 0, 0 is not satisfying this condition. So my equation is of this type. Let's take this guy now. x plus y is equal to 60. You put x equal to 0, you get y is equal to 60. You put y is equal to 0, you get x equal to 60. So this guy and this guy both satisfies this equation. Correct. So let's join these points. This is you get if you join these two points. This is x plus y is equal to. 60. Now whether it will take this reason or this reason, you put again 0, 0. So you will see that uh, 0, 0 does not satisfy. So this guy also. In fact, sorry, x plus 2y satisfies. If you do 0, 0, that is less than 120, yes, it satisfies. So my first equation satisfies and second equation doesn't satisfy. So this is my, this one if you take, it will be on this side, right? And it will be on this side. This is also done, this is also done. Next is x minus 2y is equal to 0. You put x is equal to 0, you get y is equal to 0, right? That is 1. And x is equal to 2y. So let's take some point here. Let's take x is equal to maybe 30 x is equal to 60 let's take y is equal to 30 right? so x is equal to 0 y is equal to 0 is 1 point and 30 and 60 is 1 point so x is equal to 30 or the x is equal to 60 and y is equal to 30 is 1 point right this point that means my equation is of this one right x minus 2y now this is also done so let's see if this is uh, 0 0 satisfies 0 0 i can't take because it is something in this value i take x equal to 0 uh, x equal to 30 y is equal to 0 if i take so 30 minus 0 is greater than yes so this point satisfies so my equation is of this area also i have x is greater than 0 that is this line and y is greater than 0, that is this line. So my final solution will be this area. I'll show you what. See, if you see that this line, it has to be in this side. So this side, this side, this side. So this is my area. You observe clearly, this is my area. This is my area, which I get. And this is a closed area. And the points are, if you see, this is 60 comma 0, 120 comma 0, this is actually 60, 30, this point, 
this point I don't know. To find this point, I have to find the common point of this equation and this equation. So let's do this. x plus y is equal to 60. x minus 2y is equal to 0. Right? You subtract these two, you get 3y is equal to 60. You get y is equal to 20. And x will be twice of y, 40. So this is 40 comma 20. So I got four points. Right? So my corner points are this guy 40 20 then 60 30 then I have this guy 120 0 and then I have this point 60 0. So I have four points for all these four points let me find z that is 5x plus 10y right. So this guy becomes 5 into 5 into x that is 40 plus 10 into y that is 20 right so this is nothing but uh, 200 plus 200 is 400 this guy is 5 into x that is 60 and 10 into y that is 30 so this becomes 300 plus 300 that is 600 this is 120 5 into 120 plus 10 into 0 125 is 600 this is also 5 into 60 plus 0 that is 300. So if you see this guy is my minimum and this guy is my maximum. Right? So I could very easily find the maximum and minimum value. What I did was I plotted all this constraint in this graph. I found the common area and I found this was a closed area and there were four corner points. For all these corner points I found the value of z and the maximum value I got is 60 and the minimum I got is 300. So here you have to maximize this guy minus x plus 2y. We have these conditions. x is greater than 3. So let's take 1, 2, and 3. This guy is my x. So I'll draw this guy x is equal to 3 in this fashion. This is my x is equal to 3. But I am looking for x is greater than 3. So my point is this side. This is done. x plus y is equal to 5, 3, 4. 3, 4, 5. This is one point. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is another point. Right? So these two, if you join, is x is 3 and y is 2. We you meet here. This guy is my line here. Actually, if you see, x plus y is equal to 5. I took point. This guy is uh, 5 comma 0 and this guy is 0 comma 5 correct so this is also done and this guy meets at this point next is x plus 2y is equal to 6 x plus 2y is equal to 6 you put x is equal to 0 you get y is equal to 3 you put y is equal to 0 you get x is equal to 6 so x is equal to 0 y is equal to 3 is this point and x is equal to 6 and y is equal to 0 is this point. If you join these right, we need somewhere here. So if you join these nine, it will be something like this. This is the exact line. Yes. This is x plus 2y is equal to 6. But I am looking for x plus 2y greater than 6. If I put 0, 0, 0 plus 0 greater than 6, no. So this I am looking for this. Here also I am looking for this reason. And also I have y is equal to 0, that means I have this reason, right? So, and that is this area, y is equal to 0. If you add all these, I am looking for this reason. Add all these, I am looking for this reasons. So the points are, this is one point, And this point is nothing but 6 comma 0. Correct? So let me write the points. 6 comma 0 is one point. The second point is this point, the intersection of these two lines. x plus 2y is equal to 6 and x plus y is equal to 5. Subtract this, y is equal to 1 and x is equal to 4. So this point is 4 comma 1 is the second point. 4 comma 1 is the second point. Third point is this guy. is nothing but intersection of x plus y is equal to 5 and 
x is equal to 3 that means y is equal to 2 so 3 comma 2 is the next point that is this guy right 3 comma so these are the three points I have right they are the points I got now let me find the value of z for all this z is minus x plus 2y so in this case it will be minus 6 in this case it will be minus 4 plus 2 that is minus 2 in this case it will be minus 3 plus 4 that is plus 1 so maxima is this guy but I am not sure if the maxima exists but to check what I have to do is I have to say that z is greater than m that is minus x plus 2y is greater than m that is 1 so we have to form this line first to form this line let me put x is equal to 0 so you get y is equal to 1 by 2 you put y is equal to 0 you get x is equal to minus 1 I have these points x is equal to 0 y is equal to 1 by 2 is somewhere here and x is equal to minus 1 and y is equal to 0 is somewhere here so if you if you form this line this line is somewhere like this correct that is minus x plus 2y is greater than 1 so this is greater than 1 let's take this point 0 0 0 0 is not satisfying this so that means I am looking for this area and if you see there is an overlap between this area and the other area there is an overlap between this area x plus 2y minus x plus 2y is greater than 1 and this area since there is an overlap that means no maxima. That means maxima doesn't exist for this. Logically, also, if you see this graph is going in this direction, and we can find that yeah, the maxima doesn't exist. Let's take one example where you have to maxima x plus y. The conditions are x minus y less than minus 1, x plus minus x plus y less than 0, and x greater than 0, y greater than 0. So let's form this guy first x minus y is equal to minus 1. You put x equal to 0 you get y is equal to 1 you put y is equal to 0 you get x is equal to minus 1 so x is 0 y is 1 is this point x is minus 1 y is equal to 0 is 1 point so this is my equation right x minus y is equal to 1 since I am looking for less than 1 you put 0 0 then you see that 0 0 is less than minus 1 no that means I am looking for this area Correct. This is done. Second is minus x plus y minus x plus y is equal to 0. You put x equal to 0, y is equal to 0, you get this point. You get x equal to 1, you get y also equal to 1. So this is your graph. This is the graph actually. Right? This is the graph. This is the graph again. Yeah. For this, it is less than 0. So if you put exam example this point, 1 and x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 0, you get minus 1 plus 0 less than 0. Yes, this is true. That means I am looking for this area. Right? And then also I have x is greater than 0, y is greater than 0, this area and this area. But if you see there is no common area, there is no common area. There is no common area in this case. Why? This one has goes this direction, this one goes in this direction, this one goes, there is no one area which satisfies all equation. There is no common area, so no feasible solution. No solution, no solution means no maximum. Correct? So in this equation, if you see there is no common area, right? This was going this direction, we're going this direction, x is this, y is this. So there is no common area. For example, this area, you take any area, you will find not find any area which is which has all the equations. You take this area, you will have this equation x and y, but you won't have this. You take these areas, you have this equation x and y, but not this. So there is no common area. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.